respected teachers and my dear students of 9th standard i am shrinivas prasad teacher in social science and english today i welcome you all for geography lessons this year you will have all the lessons of social science in this sp sir's online learning in this youtube channel of mine you will learn all the lessons of social science and i teach you english grammar as well make use of this opportunity dear students and after watching this don't forget to send the link of this lesson to other friends let them make use of it today i teach you the first lesson in geography very simple and small lesson in social science so in this geography the first lesson you have very few concepts about the origin of karnataka the word karnataka and also the extent and location of our state karnataka the neighboring states population and district headquarters hoblis taluks and the latitude and the longitudes everything you learn here so welcome to geography the first lesson chapter number 1 our state karnataka dear students our state karnataka is one among the 28 states of india this karnataka has its own heritage and the cultural aspects it is one among the 28 states of india which has its own relief features and known for cultural diversity in this chapter you are going to learn the greatness of our state karnataka and its heritage we also discuss about the origin of the name karnataka and the form of the state that means how the word karnataka you know came into existence that you learn here the geographical location of karnataka the area that is size land and water bodies land and water frontiers and neighboring states of karnataka will also be discussed in this chapter very simple chapter small chapter and we will learn them our state karnataka this state is a land of kannadigas we speak kannada as our mother tongue this state is one among the states in india which has its own greatness are known for its greatness prestige and heritage dear students this land has an ideal situation and is blessed with diverse relief features it has its own flora and fauna flora means the vegetation fauna means animal life it has its own relief features different variety of soils river system and different uh, set of people so let us learn in detail about this many places in karnataka are famous for their world heritage for example veluru halebidu badami pattadakallu shravana belagola mysuru and the list goes on most of these places are known for their natural beauty and abundance wildlife this abundance wildlife can be seen in bandipura nagarahule and banergatta forests and also in few areas of western ghats so let us know in detail about our state karnataka how did this state get its name 
the name karnataka has been in use right from beginning right from ancient times the word karnataka has been in use and we have evidence for it we have source for it the word karunadu is from kar plus nadu kar here the black so the land of black soil nadu means the area the state so the land of the state of black soil karnataka is nothing but land of black soil that is the meaning of karunadu so from the word karunadu karnataka has come from the word karnat refers to karnataka and it is been mentioned in ancient tamil scripture shilapadigaram shilapadigaram it's an ancient tamil scripture where karnat is mentioned then what does it actually mean karnat means elevated plateau that means the elevated area from the sea level this karnataka is situated in an elevated plain elevated plateau from the sea level so this you need to keep in mind and this karnataka earlier it was extended from river kaveri in the south up to river godavari in the north in this peninsular plateau from the river kaveri in the south to river godavari in the north in this peninsular plateau and what is the source for it what is the source to say this dear students there is a source for this what is that see now i am showing you that in the indian map in the peninsular plateau two arrow marks are shown one is river kaveri in the south the other one is river godavari in the north of this peninsular plateau in between this area kannadigas were living karnataka was in existence that is what is proved in nripatunga's grammatical work kaviraja marga kaviraja marga was written by amogavarsha nripatunga this amogavarsha nripatunga in his work kaviraja marga has very clearly mentioned that the land of karnataka it was extended the land of karnataka was extended from river kaveri in the south to the river godavari in the north dear students after the independence india was divided into many states today we have 28 states our mysore state was one among when india was divided into number of states in the year 1947 the southern districts which were till then under the rule of mysore wadayas were brought together to form mysore state so mysore state was formed and it was officially recognized as per the state reorganization committee headed by fazal ali in the year 1956 later when the states were recognized on linguistic basis that is on language basis all kannada speaking areas were all you know brought together some kannada speaking areas from bombay province some from hyderabad province some from madras and kodagu provinces all were brought together and karnataka was formed and later on 1st november 1956 vishala mysore state was formed vishala mysore state came into being on 1st november 1956 that is why we celebrate kannada rajyotsava on every 1st november dear students this karnataka has its own flag and today we have about 31 districts and four administrative divisions and we have our own logo emblem karnataka is one of the 28 states of india it is situated in the western central area of peninsula region dear students this is very important where is karnataka situated in india karnataka is situated in the southern part of india okay and western karnataka is there in the western part and central area western central area of peninsular 
region. Peninsula means the land which is covered by water in three sides. That is Arabian Sea in the west, Bay of Bengal in the east, Indian Ocean in the south. Karnataka geographically extends from 11 degree 3 minutes 1 second north latitude to 18 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds north latitude. This you need to keep in mind. From 11 degree to 18 degree. 11 degree almost it is the tip of Chamarajanagar in south. 18 degree it is the tip of Bida. Likewise, 74 degree in the east. 74 degree 1 minute 2 seconds to 78 degree 4 minute 0 second east longitude. This is what Karnataka extends from west to east that is from Karwal to Kolar. So this is what you need to keep in mind dear students. Okay. Dear students, in order to understand this latitude and longitude, I have given you this map of Karnataka. This map of Karnataka you observe, which I have given you almost a gray in color. It extends from 11 degree 3 minutes 1 second in south. See that is 7 de 11 degree 3 minutes 1 second north latitude. Okay. And up to 18 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds north latitude. And from east 74 degree 1 minute 2 seconds to 78 degree 4 minutes 0 second east. So this is what the extent of Karnataka. So in short, I tell you 11 degree to 18 degree north latitudes, 74 degree east to 78 degree east. This is what the extent of Karnataka. That means 11 degree means the tip of Chamarajanagar. 18 degree means the tip of Bida. 74 degree means it is at Karwar. And 78 degree means it is Mulavaglu, uh, the one of the taluks of uh, Kolar district. So within this, we have our state Karnataka. Hope very clearly you have understood this. Now I will take you to the next concept. Karnataka's total length from north to south is 750 kilometers. It stretches from Bidar in the north to Chamrajanagar in the south. In Bidar, there is a taluk called Aurad. From Aurad taluk of Bidar up to Chamrajanagar in south, it extends. Right. So this is for dear students from Bidar to Chamrajanagar. Its width that is from west to east, it is from Karwar in Uttar Kannada district to the, I mean to the taluk that is Mulubaglu. Mulubaglu taluk in Kolar district that is from west to east it extends up to 400 kilometers. So Uttar Kannada, Karwar to the you know Kolar. Geographical location. Let us see geographical location. Karnataka state has both land and water frontiers too. In the west we have Arabian Sea. In the north we have Maharashtra. And Andhra Pradesh in the east, Tamil Nadu in the south and southeast, Kerala in the southwest, and Goa in the northwest. But there is a newly state, you know, formed that is Telangana, right? Telangana, it is to the northeast of Karnataka. It extends almost north and northeast. So all these are the different or neighboring states of Karnataka. This you will have to have the knowledge with the map. Dear students, you see here Maharashtra in the north, Telangana in the northeast, Andhra Pradesh in the east, Tamil Nadu in the south, that is southeast in the southeast, Tamil Nadu in the southeast, Kerala in the southwest, and Goa in the northwest. These are the neighboring states of Karnataka. At present, there are 31 districts in our state. Dear students, in textbook, uh, it was uh, printed earlier. So before the formation of new district of Karnataka, that is Vijayanagara. But including Vijayanagara, we have 31 districts. 
These districts comprises about 240 taluks, 747 hoblis, 347 towns, and 27,481 villages. So this statistics also you should know very well. Among them, among the uh, you know 31 districts, Belagavi district is the largest district. Belagavi is the largest in size, and our Bengaluru urban is the smallest. So you know very well Bengaluru is the capital of Karnataka. So this shape of Karnataka, if you see, it looks like cashew nut. Karnataka stretches over an area of 1,91,791 square kilometer. Okay, dear students, this is the area, total area in square kilometer. That is 1,91,791 square kilometer. It is India's eighth largest state with regard to the area. So that 1,91,791 whatever you studied that is with with respect to the area it is eighth largest state and it is according to the census of 2011 karnataka is the ninth it is in the ninth position with its population right in population it is the ninth and in area it is the eighth the population as per 2011 census you know it was 6 crore 11 lakh 30,704, that is what population. Karnataka with uh, 1,91,000 and odd area, it occupies 2, I mean, it occupies 5.83% of India's geographical area. This state has been divided into four divisions for the administrative purposes. They are Bengaluru, Mysuru, Belagavi, and Kalburgi. These are the four administrative divisions of our state, Karnataka. Dear students, I have covered all the topics of first lesson in geography. And from today onwards, at least one or two lessons every week I am going to present before you. Watch this and pass it on to your friends. You send the link to your friends of 9th standard. Let them make use of it. Okay, dear students, shall we go for exercises? Yes, dear students, there are five fill in the blanks given in the textbook. You need to answer them. Hope you will answer it and uh, comment me, right? report it to me right in the comment section. Yes, I am eagerly waiting for your responses. Apart from this, there are four question answers given in the textbook keep a notebook for this and write all those they are all available even in the textbook dear students i wish you all the best thank you and keep watching all the lessons of 9th standard social science thank you dear teachers bye